In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome yet simple animated underline effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by creating a brand new title. So in order to create a brand new title, we need to go up into File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press this option here and press OK on Title 1. Now, inside of the legacy title window, you just want to go ahead and type out a word of your choice. So make sure this T over here is illuminated. Make sure that is blue. Then we're going to select anywhere in this black video and just type out a word of your choice. So I'm going to go with Brooker. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to change the weight of this. I'm going to change the color. And then once you're happy with the look of your text, you just want to center this up into the very center of the canvas. So we'll select these two center buttons down here. And once that's been centered up on both the horizontal axis and the vertical axis, we're going to exit the legacy title window. And we're going to drag title one onto video one. So there you go. We've got a lovely word in the center of our video. Now we need to go ahead and make the underline animation. So in order to do this, we're going to go into new item black video, we'll press OK on this option and we'll drag black video onto video layer two. Now, as you can see, that's a black video. It's gone on top of our title. So our title has disappeared. It's still there. It's just under the black video. Now I'm going to make the black video the same color as our title. The title was white. So I'm going to turn the black video to a white video. So in order to do this, we're going to go effects, search for tint. That should be in color correction. And once you've found that, you want to drop that onto your black video. Now, in tint, you've got matte black two and matte white two. Because this is a black video, we're gonna adjust the matte black two setting. We'll select the black box and we'll drag this down into the left corner to select white. Now we've got this white video. Now, from here, we're gonna go up into motion. We'll go down to scale and we'll deselect uniform scale. Now we'll drop the scale height down to 1%. As you can see, that has revealed our title underneath. And then we're going to go down to scale width and we're going to decrease the width to make sure that the width of the line matches the width of the title. So in my example, I need to pull that to around 27%. And then once you're happy with the look of that, you just want to drag this down just so it sits underneath your title. And in order to do this, we're going to adjust the position. So this position affects left and right. And in this position, the 540 adjusts the up and down. So we're going to pull this down. And once you're happy with the look of that, we can move on to the animation process. Now, just before we carry on, I'm just going to zoom into the word just so we can fully see what we're doing. I'm going to zoom into 150%. And then from there, making sure the black video is selected. I'm going to go into opacity and I'm going to select the free draw bezier. Now I'm just going to draw four points around the outside of this line. So we've got this perfect rectangle around our line. Now we'll move two seconds to the right. We'll go up to mask path in the mask one and we'll select the stopwatch icon to create a brand new keyframe in the animation. Now we'll move to the very beginning. We'll select mask one. And then we're going to drag these two points on the right of the mask over to the left. So we'll take these two points over to the left. And as you will see, moving those two points has created this keyframe at the very beginning of the title. Now, if we play this back, you'll notice we've got this animating underline effect now happening inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So there you go. It was nice and simple, super quick to do. That is the animating underline effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching.